Oh, He's recording. You want to listen? <laughs> what <is> that? <laughs> okay, I know what I meant. Okay. <laughs> you didn't say do what I mean, not what I say. You can put that bell down there and you're going to make love to it all day. <laughs> Sometimes I don't need to know the answer to That's right. <laughs> Why have you showed up to be here? Only way this has been better is about to have Larry here to pick up. Yeah, he's a head He might be here tonight, though. Okay. The next place is where you get, to, well, not quite the next one, but there's a couple of opportunities here to screw up. What's going to happen now? Got to tighten the belt. Tension the belt. Made 13 millimeters something. That's about our work. Belt tensioning tool. All right. Okay. You're going to put that in those two holes right there. All right, if you look right here, I'm going to get back around here and come around this side of me, Jim, so you can see. You've got a metal tab right there. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got a window right there. Right. Tab window theory is the same as pinhole theory. Just like it's always been with the little spring mm -hmm. wire. Yeah, okay. So I pull that around. You'll have to tell me when because I can't see it. When you're back, back up a little, little bit. bit. Is the silver tab in the hole in the slot? A little more. There you right go. There. Tighten the bolt. That's good. I don't know the torque spec on it, but we're there. Okay. There is a Mitsubishi timing belt tensioning tool from about 20 years ago that looks very similar. It won't fit. It won't. I've already tried it. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's still the snake bite tool I'm done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's got yellow handles so red. No, uh, it's, it's a socket. It, it, it's on a ratchet. Yeah. Yeah. Quarter inch. Mm. It's a little flat piece about that big square with two pins on it. It looks like it would work perfect right mm. there. You put it in the handle. wrong distance apart. Yeah, put it in the hands of students and they break the tabs off. Uh, yeah. Do what? You give it to students and they break the tabs yeah. off. Okay, so the belt's tight. Are we happy with that comment? What's going to happen next? Okay, here is your chance to really screw up big time and break expensive stuff. The break the camshaft right off the hand. Okay, if you use this tool back here to, as a backup when you're tightening that bolt, you will either, the, the cheap thing is you'll break the tool. Yeah. What is more likely going to happen is you'll split the end of the camshaft out like this. Oh, uh, they don't like that, huh? Okay. And now it's seized in the bearing journal right here. Mm -hmm. okay. Now you got to get a head. Then you need a head. <laughs> okay. Now, the other thing is, every one of you is going to do this, is that you're going to put an air wrench on there and tighten her up, right? It's not a high torque bolt. 88 foot pounds, you all touch. Oh, my air wrench does that. Huh? My air wrench does that. Hey, sure. <laughs> Calibrate. I cannot explain it. Every one of them I have seen tied with an impact has worked loose. Hmm. Like little like that. Huh? Like that. Okay. I think it has to do with the gear spinning <coughs> on the shaft yeah. or something. Okay. Now, that that 650 foot pound impact wrench mm -hmm. don't get it tight enough. But your 88 foot pound torque wrench right. will. Yeah. When you all figure that science out, let me know. Okay. So now I'm going to put that tool on there to hold it with. Everybody happy with that comment? And then I'm going to take my torque wrench and I'm going to tighten it to 88 foot pounds while quick. holding this. You don't want to take that off? When you're quick, quick. I don't want to take that off if because it lets the cam slide out of time. Turn the cam, turn the cam shaft. And yeah, the cam see, turn the direction of your bolt. Uh, you gotta have okay. the right balance okay. of uh, <laughs> not over torquing the, the handle. And, yeah. There's there's some art to this, okay? Now what's gotta happen? Take the plate off. Take both of the locking plates off and rotate the crankshaft by hand two revolutions. Okay? Now I'm not gonna make you guys rotate it by two revolutions, but if you read what the service manual says, the service manual says if after two revolutions, if that silver tab is not in that slot, start over. On the adjuster? Yep. Or yep. Yep. 
Yeah. That's the over tab in that slot right there. It doesn't lock in there. You just no, it's just a line. Yeah. What's the What's the service life on that belt? Is it 100 or 60 or? 150, I think. Oh shit, that's right. Uh, so we can build it.